Let us continue. If you are watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. Uh, yeah, I'm heading back to where I came from. Because... Well, how far is the tower from here, actually? I know the lab is just there, which I could pay a visit to and do the lab thing. It's just there's a lot to do in this northern area. Yeah, ha ha. I didn't have a photo of that. The wolf that keeps on giving meat. I mean, yeah, if we look at it, right, you can kind of see it. There's all that area there that I need to fill up. Tower is all the way to the north. I could go all the way north and then just turn around. That is the labyrinth. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that yet. Forty-five. <laughs> 
Where did that come from? There. Shit, too far away. It's hard to parry when you're from that distance. It's a good thing I saved. I think I need to get that thing to do the torch quest. Fuck's sake, sometimes it just climbs on the rocks when I don't want it to. <laughs> ah! It's already two deaths. Okay. The rain doesn't help either. I'm going to go get rid of that thing because it's annoying. Okay, here we go. Sneaking up behind it. It's fine. Shit. I'm down to one shield. Okay, well now I have to load. <laughs> the threat of the, uh, the fake out. Get out of here. There we go. I'm sure that had to happen eventually anyway. Stopped raining now. Luckily. This is oh shit. This music though. Should take advantage of the fact that it's not raining. Huh? 
It's, uh, and it's... Hi. Hey, you, what are you doing here? Hmm? 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 Are you the one called Link? Yes. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yes, the number of scars on your body, just as I remember. That's the only distinguishing feature I decided to pay attention to. Most seem to have healed, but they do line up with the scars I know you got during the Great Calamity a hundred years ago. Hmm, yes. I acknowledge you as the real Link. So let us begin. I'm gonna try and... I can't seem to get him face on. Anyway. I am the lead guardian researcher and director of the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Dr. Robbie. In any case, I'm really impressed that you made it all the way out to this rather remote location. Did you have a chance to meet Pura and borrow her power? I met a child. <laughs> hmm, Pura? A child? What? She really has a kid? Hmm, or well, do you mean that Pura aged backwards and she is now a child? Pura got younger. Hmm, they said it? Hmm, so she's as crazy as ever. Okie dokie. Knowing her, I'm guessing she screwed up some experiment. Hmm, hmm, yes, typical. Let us return to the subject at hand, hmm? Did you know that the Calamity is regaining its power? I know. Hmm, I see. Then I don't need to tell you my story. Tell me. Hmm, I see. Yes, in that case. The goal of our Shika Research Lab is simple, really. We aim to destroy the calamity that has endured across time. To rid Hyrule of its dark influence, and above all, to rescue Princess Zelda, who is now a prisoner of the calamity. We have worked ourselves to the bone conducting our research. For a time, I feared I'd pass before we could prevail. However... You, Link, managed to awaken before this old sack of flesh gave out. That means the time is now. Hmm, yes, yes. You, now is the time to join forces with us, Sheikah, yes? We must destroy the Calamity. Yes, that is correct. You and I are going to join forces to put an end to the Calamity. And on that note, sorry for the long preamble, but I'd like you... I'd like to provide you with some ancient soldier gear. Mm-hmm. Did you catch all that? Cherry. Uh, the ancient oven creates ancient soldier gear, but I fear she's out of sorts at the moment. Hmm. I'm afraid someone will have to bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace again. Ah, the ancient oven. You see, it's a bit of... Yeah, yeah, okay. Got it. Tough choices have to be made. It won't be there when I return, unfortunately. Oh yeah, where is it? Ancient Furnace. Okay, from Tomb Leo Heights. Okay. I mean, it's the, it's the weakest sword. I wonder if it's feasible to bring... To bring the, uh... Like, I know it's over here, but... To bring the one from Hatina over here.
It works. Yeah, but like it would be a pain because it's raining constantly. I mean, to be honest, I can't be bothered doing anything elaborate, so... I'm already doing plenty. It wasn't that bad? Yeah, but were you doing what I was doing? Where you don't do Zara's Domain until the very end and it's raining constantly? Three hearts, no armor. Master mode. No fast travel. I don't know, what else? That's just, that's just annoying. Yep, no, that's, that's not obnoxious at all. I love the part when you have to do a quest and then something prevents you from doing it. I'm gonna go do this. just a game of chance that rain doesn't occur. <laughs> but see, this is this isn't even this is, th it's two things. It's one that it rains too much and when you're climbing there's nothing you can do. And that they can remedy by having some sort of climbing gear that lets you climb in the rain. But then the other side of it is like when you're doing quests like this and this just keeps happening, it's, it's annoying. It's two problems really. It just rains way too much in this game. along the lines of Song of the Storm. So what, you can call it whenever you want and get rid of it whenever you want? It's still annoying. The fact that you have to have something to counter it, it's, it's just... It kind of proves it's just annoying. Yeah, it stops you from building a fire and forces you to wait. Exactly. That is indeed the most annoying thing. I think what I can do, however, if I'm not mistaken... ...is build one here. Alright, and then... I'm 
pretty sure this is valid. Yeah. That's using the old noggin. If you could build a tent or something in the field. Honestly, I, th I think the fix is just stop making it rain so often. The only other thing that would... Because here's the thing. Rain, it... Think, what's, what's an upside of rain? That's the problem. There is no upside to rain. If there was some benefit to rain... Like, maybe you solve problems and it requires it raining. Or maybe you get some sort of bonus from doing something in the rain. No, it's just, it's just straight up a downside. It just fucks with your gameplay. And nothing else, and it happens way too often. In other Zelda games where rain was a mechanic, you know, you used it in certain problem-solving situations. And it is just ridiculously common, yeah. It's something that is nothing but a downside, and it happens way too often. Oh, I forgot to increase the dust counter. There we go. The way you fix rain in this game, quite simply, is make it happen less. Or give us a benefit or a reason to want rain in the first place. Or both, yeah. Or both. It's just one of one of these things that's it's if you play the game enough, it becomes painfully obvious that it needs to get toned down and for all the compliments i give this game about how well designed certain things are i just cannot believe that they let that one just be as is you know There's a benefit when using lightning weapons. Sure. If lightning weapons are as common as rain, sure. How many hours in am I into this without a lightning weapon? Lining arrows aren't too uncommon. Okay, arrows, fair. Oh, look! How many minutes was that before it started raining again? Not even five? I think it was about five minutes.
Let me see if I can get the torch here. Okay, I can't. So I can have fire here. It worked before. Okay. Count. I want you to count. Alright. It's 9.45pm here. Alright. I'm... Keeping track. That was weird. I'm not sure why it didn't register. No, but see, that other time it just worked instantly. It doesn't matter. Moving on. I'm counting. I'm paying attention to the time. Do they... You know what it is? Because... Is it really a ma just a matter of that they try to make it rain once a day. And so because one day in game is roughly, I mean, what, 20, 30 minutes? Is that why it happens? Like, is it that hard coded in that's like, make it rain once a day? It's just random, I don't know. I guess I'm just unlucky, huh? Twice during this quest. Once on the way up the hill. Okay. You, Link, listen up, hmm? My darling Cherry is back to normal. Such is the power of love. My love made Cherry well again. The furnace is lit. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, quite. Now then, please take this as a gift of my gratitude now that Cherry is fixed. Ancient Arrows. They have made using secret Sheikah technology. With the addition of my upgrades, they have morphed into... Ancient Calamity weapons, so to speak. Needless to say, they are an incredibly powerful type of ancient soldier gear. I like to call them Ancient Arrows. In addition to ancient arrows, Cherry can make all sorts of ancient soldier gear. If you're looking to acquire some, give your ancient materials to, and rupees, to Cherry. Did you hear that? Ah, forgive me, Link. Ever since the fall of Hyrule Castle, we haven't had much in the way of funds for our research. That's why I thought you might be willing to help us out with rupees. Lots of them. I beg you. Then let's do it. Hmm? The two of us? Just as soon as possible? Well, yes, let's conquer the calamity. Hello, familiar name missing, welcome. Okay, ah, oh, yes, please. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, though. I think... This is, this is what I need. Just so I can deal with 
you know. When things get annoying. Hi. Morning. And check it out. How's that? I figured I'd give you an impression of Hatina Tech Lab's director, Puro Shop. Maybe it was a bit much for the first time meeting you, though. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's all okay. So, what do you need from me? Who are you? Hey, uh, I'm Jaren. Hey. Check it out. I'm an amateur scholar of ancient history. To be honest, I've been focusing a lot on my research on shrines. That reminds me, Link. There's somewhere I need you to go. Um, the left eye of Skull Lake. I know there's a shrine there, but it's a challenge to get to it. The left eye of Skull Lake is higher. The right one is lower down. If you run into Kilton, you're in the wrong one. Any questions? Nope, gotta go. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I don't know, the weapons, because they break. I think I'm fine with what I have. And I mean, I'm gonna use the ancient arrows in the context of the Guardians anyway. And arrows are just used to poke enemies. I don't really use that as a primary combat. Like, arrows are... Okay, I need to hit this enemy before it starts regenerating. Health and look, the rain! Five minutes! Five minutes! It was five minutes! Five fucking minutes. <laughs> and it's already raining again. Five minutes. Five minutes. That's all it gave me. In terms of time without rain. Akala is known for being wetter than usual. Where? Who? It doesn't make it not annoying. Still makes it irritating. It's like if you meet a person and they have a tendency of just punching someone in the groin, you know, when they first meet that person. Oh, well, you know, John is known to punch people in the groin. That doesn't make it better. <laughs> it's still shit. Ugh. Anyway, we move on. It's fine. Gotta grab groceries. Enjoy. I'll be here for a while. to replenish the wood that I just spent as well. should do. Tried to catch whatever I could. Alright, well... I'm 
heading this way. Meat. Really? Pretty far north here. Hmm. One sec. Where is that? Oh, so that's the Akala Tower. I should probably get that first. It's just it makes it easier to know where I need to go. Yep. Salt. Give me salt. Salt, 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 salt. That's good. Good for cooking. There's also a line all around here somewhere. Here we go. that photo but it's in the the thing anyway oh it's timed Where's three? Okay. That was an accident. <laughs> I found it.
Oh, I don't have one of a donkey. the whole thing. <laughs> hmm. Kind of surprised there's nothing here. Okay, scratch that. There's something here. I know what you are. You weren't there before and now suddenly you're there? Oh gee, I wonder if you're an assassin. say. Yeah, that won't be able to keep up. That is, uh, yep. That's something we shouldn't do just yet. But I know what it is.
Okay, I see one there that's easy enough to get. Fifty. Oh, whoa, whoa. What's happening there? Okay, leave it. I don't care about the wings. Control just span for a sec. Taking that weapon. Yoink. It's not bad. Twenty seven. Ooh, I might be able to repair the shield. Now that I need an Octorok. Did that hit it? It didn't hit it. It's just a Goron merchant. I want to come across the merchant that sells, uh, food. Oh. Ah. My horse is in a bad mood because the weather took a turn for the worse. Hope it clears up soon. Uh, 
I'm in a bad mood because it happens way too much. I feel that horse. Well, at least it's already stopped. It hasn't stopped, it's just in a particular era, area. I doubt there's anything in there, so I'm just gonna leave it. Everything's so different in the outside world. I hear you folk complain about the rain often, but I never get tired of it. about the rain often it's because it's annoying <laughs> just trying to get the herb Let me see how I... I think I did okay. I know there's a few in this forest, that's why I wanna go through it thoroughly. It's not worth it. These are important. Say that's that's decent enough. All right. This is pretty much so I don't confuse myself later.
Ooh, nice. Worth it, I guess. It's just to say that I've been inside that part of the map. And no Korok went off. Okay, there's two of them, but it's referring to this one over here. Didn't I hit the right one? Why is this wrong? Hmm. It's definitely here. I think because I blew it up earlier. Maybe it just hasn't respawned yet. I'll leave it. There's one around here. This one should just be roaming. Oh, it's here. Raining again. why that didn't work. I blame that fire bat. Wait, there's a... Huh, guess there is.
Why is that combat music? Ah, oh, the wolf. I love how the campfire is just not on the inside either, so you can't even use it when it's raining. Oh. Hey, who are you? I'm a humble traveler. Hmm, <laughs> chaff. Traveling alone to a place like this, you must be a man who sets his mind on something and then gets it done. I'm the best. Your modesty is overwhelming. Anyway, I was really into sword fighting, but I'm a bit... I'm in a bit of a rut with it. Doesn't help that the sword I'm using right now is way too blunt. That's why I thought, if I can get that legendary sword, maybe a new path will open up for me. What do you think? Legendary sword? That's right, I finally figured out that it's near Death Mountain. However, it doesn't seem to be in this direction. Maybe it's on the opposite side, closer to Woodland Stable. Hmm. Maybe I'll just mosey over to Woodland Stable. He's doing a gesture for me to sit down. I didn't even notice that. Sit? You want me to sit down? Yeah, yeah. yeah I am. Okay. <laughs> Fairy tonic. I mean, other than that, I don't really have anything else I want to sell. Alright. What do you want? I'm just hanging out. We'll see about that. Hmm, what's that? What do you have there? That's amaranth, isn't it? Could you, um, maybe give me some? Sure. Thank you. For you to be walking around with my favorite plant, it seems you and I may just get along after all. That said... The color is famous for, well, nothing. So I have to ask, what could you possibly have come here for? I'm a traveler. I see a traveler. In that case, I have a request for you. My little sister, Gleema, is a huge fan of insects. I know, I don't get it either. But apparently there's a certain insect she's dying to see in real life. She won't tell me about it, though. Supposedly there are some things you just can't talk about with those you're closest to. Anyway, would you mind talking to her and figuring out what? Silly little insect she says crazy about. It's for her birthday. Think of it as a special birthday favor or even a birthday quest. Look, just do it, okay? Yeah. Hello there, traveler. Welcome to our stable. You will stay a while, won't you? If you have a horse, we can help you change its gear or main style. We're always happy to meet new horses, so stop on by. Wait, it's not you that has the quest? Yeah. <laughs> Where is little sister? I just assumed would be here. Oh, here. Oh. Hey, mister. What's up? Guess what I have? It's a secret. Want to know what it is? Tell me. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Ready? For here it comes. My big sister Jana heads dragonflies. Dragonflies? Yeah. 
I once saw a picture of a warm Donna, a cold Donna, and an electric Donna in a book. When I showed them to Jana, she said their eyes were creepy and got mad. Oh, that was a secret, wasn't it? Jana's gonna be mad at me again. But I think that's because the pictures were all up close and stuff. I bet real ones are super cute. When I grow up, I want to travel the world and meet some real dragonflies. So, it's you, Gleema. Ah! No, no way. Of all things, she wants to see a gross dragonfly, a warm Donna, a cold Donna, and an electric Donna. Three different types? Ugh. Anything about dragonflies, just think about how their eyes make, make me feel sick. I see, so Gleema knows that I despise dragonflies, and that's why she wouldn't tell me how much she loves them. Well, this is her birthday. I didn't have a choice. Bring me a warm, cold, and electric one, please. I want to surprise Gleema, so don't tell her about this. It's you. Okay. Um. Let me see. I might have them already. I don't think I have electric. Electric's probably further south. I have warm and cold, but I don't have electric. Electric is uh, further south, so. Okay. Oh, good. How's it going? Ugh, call me mid-stretch. How was the Mario movie slash birthday? To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Zekasho. That is all. Oh, it's... Tilt. Tilt controls. Good. It was good. Like the movie, there was a lot of stuff from the games in there. Yeah, it, it was... Unlike the 1993 movie, it, it was a lot of stuff from the games. A lot of references to the games. It's the kind of movie I would have loved to see as a kid. It's not big on story, it's very simple, but it's a kid's movie and, you know... If you enjoy Nintendo stuff, it'll make you smile. And that's enough. The kids enjoyed it. Yeah, I bet. When I went to see it, it was just constant laughter from kids. And adults pointing at the screen when they recognize something.
kind of crazy how much money that movie's made. So, pretty much confirmed that, all but confirmed that they're going to make a sequel to it, given it's becoming one of the largest, I think it's even the largest grossing uh, animation movie. So, this might be the start of Nintendo making movies. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial. Blah, 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 blah. Did I say the clip? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they hinted at it, but... Sometimes they do that stuff and then nothing happens. It's, it's something they do always, as if... The movie does well enough, they'll continue. But then there are things that uh, don't do so well and have a post credits sequence and yeah, that's all you see from it. Like the Cowboy Bebop thing on Netflix, that did not do well. It was horrible. Yeah, I mean... That was, like, I think... It was a miscast with Spike, and... I mean... Eh, some of it, it was just corny, but... There were, there were parts of it where it was like, okay, yeah, there's, there's something there, but it's just not enough. That movie... The, sorry, that movie. That TV series always had an uphill battle, but... I didn't mind the uh, the actor who played Jet, though. Actor who played Jet was pretty decent, but other than that, yeah, he was good. And you know, John John Cho had his his moments, but it just wasn't. Yeah, I don't know. The lesson is don't do live adaptations of anime. <laughs> None of them work. You'd think they'd learn by now. Ooh, there's another one down there. We may as well go do it. Wait, what is this? This is... hang on. No, see, this is on the side of the other region. I guess it's still technically a Kala. I say they don't learn because I think Netflix is doing an adaptation of One Piece, if I remember correctly. Shadahaj. I think they are. Hang on. Netflix One Piece. Yeah. Is an upcoming TV series. So there is a live action One Piece coming. <laughs> I've been watching the I've been watching the anime though. My brother was like, you should watch it. I'm like, alright, fine. Slowly getting there. It's just insanely long. What episode am I on? Uh, wouldn't be able to tell you the number, but they literally just uh, ran into the skeleton guy. I already forgot in his name. But you know, the, the previous episode, he established his story and then he went to the island. The, per the perverted skeleton. <laughs> I already like him.
It's a really long series. Yeah, it is. I don't think I'm even halfway. But I've been enjoying it. It's grown on me the more I've watched it. That's funny that it runs away. My anime watching usually goes by recommendations. <laughs> wow. Those things are smart. Oops. Have I seen Tiara Eternity? I have not. What is that one about? Oh. Hold on. Shit. I should have fought it normally. I don't have to fight it. I guess I can skip it. Okay, hold up. What is this? No, I never heard of it. It's... Okay, it's translated from To You, The Immortal. What's it on, though? That is the question. That's on Crunchyroll. Okay. I'll add it to watch list. I'm always looking for stuff to watch, so... And to watch list, and that should be good enough. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Wait, did I increment the counter? I did, right? Shit. No, I don't think I did. I'll increment it. I might have to check this one. It's only two seasons so far. Okay, so it's not much commitment. Oh, I did? Really? Okay. That's easy. Just go back one. I don't have to fight this thing. I just realized that. I, I don't have to fight this thing. Oh. That did not work. Well, I guess I have to use a fire arrow now. Not many fire arrows. Yeah, I just think this thing's gonna be annoying to fight in that small space. No. There's a lot going on here. I got these things to break. Or is it just... Me... Hold on. Let's say I got it to break. And then...
Right, grab another. How's the weekend ready to work? Yeah. I mean, I'm ready. It's just... I feel like today was lost. I just, I slept in and didn't really do a whole lot. It was raining outside, so it was just... I stayed in bed. <laughs> but it's nice to not do anything. Sometimes. Yeah, I think... Because I remember you could drag it and make the rope snap, but... I think that's fine. I have a... I have a uh, big supply of arrows. What time do I start work? Uh, typically nine o'clock. Just have to be online, but the job's pretty flexible. If I could, if I wanted to say, oh, I don't want to get up at nine thirty or nine. Sorry, start until like nine thirty or ten. I can. But it's better to get stuff out of the way. I'll usually get up at 8, 8.30. Do coffee or tea and then, yeah, just... Yeah, I mean, I've said it before, I'm pretty fortunate where I am. It's flexible and I don't have any middle management types there. And, you know... It's, yeah, it's good. Makes it easier to want to work. Really? They'd rather jump in the lake than... Okay, there's more over here. Whoa, whoa, what is... What the... What was that? You're doing overtime now? Voluntary or like... Just short on staff? Wonder if using cooking ingredients with weapons will do. Yeah, I don't know. I get the feeling the one with the meat is gonna be like... Zelda 1, where the meat was just a distraction. So you would shoot meat. And, uh, well, you wouldn't shoot me. You would drop meat, and enemies would get distracted, or some enemies would want meat. I get the feeling it's just gonna be that. That's a hunch. But, I mean, you can make it, <laughs> from the latest trailer, it was, you can make a, a shield sword. So, I don't know. There's gonna be all kinds of wacky combinations. I'm sure a lot of them won't be viable, but they'll be funny. You want to, you want money, extra money always helps. Yep, definitely. As long as... As long as you're happy doing it and it's not like a... A forced thing. Cause that's, yeah, that sucks in the long run. Okay, I need to... where am I? I need to head that way. Three kids are expensive. Uh, yeah, uh, I bet. I don't know, I don't have kids. However, grew up in a family of four. Single income. Perfectly understandable. Fa I mean, four kids, not family of four. Family of six, but four kids. Crap, 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 crap. Nope. They're gone. Ugh. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the uh, the weapon combinations are going to be. I mean, you'll be able to put a stick on a stick, so who knows? I'm a little bit off course here, but that's oh, damn it! I wanted that. No, come back. Okay, I need to sneak around here. Is that really the only one? This is really... There's also one down there, but... That is the only stone. It's night time, so it made it easier. Yeah, ha ha. Okay. May as well go get this one. Oh, crap. Bombs away. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought I wasn't that close to it. Whoops. I thought I had a bit more time before that bat got near me. <sighs> well. Before I go down there, let's see if these these lizards are back. Huck. They're not. Sad. Watch the bats not be there now. Okay, they're still there. Bombs away! Bombs away! Okay, they're not. Bombs away! Okay, I think that got it. have to do this. Wait, what's this? There's a fish here. Fish. Can't see what fish it is. Sizzlefin. I mean, the Yiga still exist in the overworld, it's just you don't come across them that often. I'm 
just I'm just guessing here. <laughs> okay. I wonder if they're gonna make me find another 900 Koroks. You know, I'm going to this effort now, but do I have to do it again? <laughs> I would- I, I doubt they're gonna make you do it again, because it's the same world. Yeah, ha, ha. More Koroks. There's like another 900 in the sky. Yeah, I'm not about to drown. Uh, it's okay, I, I have food. What's the worst food? Five, this, this one. I need, I need to take a photo of one of those. I keep getting into a bad position. Admittedly, going for this shrine was probably a bad idea, <laughs> because now I'm, I'm kind of stuck here, because I can't use ice to get out. Yeah, I do. Careful. Wait. Bearings. Okay. That is Death Mountain's tower, not a Kala tower. Lizard! <laughs> Damn it. Oh my god. I looked up uh, Taco Bell Australia to see if they have that Baja Blast drink. They do not. So, that's like less incentive. There's actually quite a few things missing from their menu. I wonder why they chose not to bring that here.
To be honest, more curious about the Baja Blast than, than the Taco Bell food. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. What even is Baja Blast? I mean, from a flavor point of view, what is it trying to do? It's very nondescript. I also learned that Arby's apparently existed in Australia in the early 2000s, but then disappeared very quickly. I need a sledgehammer. I really do. Yep. Just so stuff doesn't go flying everywhere. Where's the car up? Oh, you know what? It's probably up there. Wait, what? It's not here. Where is it? Ah. There's still another one. Gotta be on that left side. Sometimes these things just make you go crazy how many times you have to go back and forth. You know what, if they're not going to do the Koroks again, I bet you they're going to do the Sculptulas, the Golden Spiders or something. There's going to be some form of collectible. Oh, well that is one as well, but I don't think that's the one I'm looking for. It looks like there's a bunch of them here. Yeah. 
Ja, ha, ha. Okay, that was the one I was looking for. <laughs> I had a friend who made uh, the Korok sound their uh, message ringtone. So whenever they got a message, it'd be like, yeah, ha, ha. They had really- they always have really good message ringtones. My favorite one was, you know, they have the start of the Lion King movie, the song they play. <laughs> uh... The circle of life, yeah, but just, you know, the ah, suanya, whatever, whatever it is they say at the start. Just that part. Not the whole song. But just that, that part. How about I look at it? Yeah, okay. There we go. I still haven't seen the live action remake of uh, The Lion King. Just, I can't bring myself to do it. How do I know where they all are? I don't. <laughs> Doing a very systematic process, and then using the Korok mask. If you'll note, like, I mean, look, look at this. I'm basically scribbling all over the map. The only things I do know is Lanero doesn't really have that much. I know not to waste my time here, and I also know not to waste my time too much on the top of Zora's domain. I mean, I'm okay at video games, but I don't think I'd be able to keep track of 900 little invisible leaf people. I, I remember ones that gave me grief more than anything else. Okay, I'm gonna sneak around here because there's probably a lizard. <laughs> I do appreciate that you think that uh, I'd be skilled enough to remember the location of 900 of those things. Thought I did. Nah. <laughs> uh. 
I mean, I know where there's some. I know where there's some. How are you supposed to take photos of those things? You just can't get close enough. Here, I, I missed one. Okay, where would this one be? It's either at the top of a tree or... Oh, let me climb a tree. Instead of useful information, I've committed to memory the location of 900 little virtual leaf creatures. Hmm. Don't really see any unique tree. It could be further over here. Sometimes this helps. It lets you see rocks that you can pick up. Where is this thing? Yeah. Slept like a baby because of this padded eye mask for sleep. Interesting. Just because it knocks out all light. I have no idea where this one is. There's no tree that I'd be like, yeah, it's that one. Unless it's off the edge, maybe. No, see, so it stopped ringing here. What? If this doesn't prove that I don't know the location of all of them, I don't know what does. <laughs> what? Where is this one? It's going to be somewhere annoying. I don't remember this one. been doing a good job. It's just I, I'm not going to remember all 900. Huh? 
Oh no. Oh no, it's just getting dark, it's fine. Partial credit, I'll take it. Jeez, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Where's the Korok? Why can't you find the Korok? It's telling you where it is. Why can't you find it? Fuck. I should have dealt with that. <laughs> it's just gonna be this thing on the map where I'm just running around in a circle. You know what? I could probably win this fight. Bring him this way. What? I need to get him to the edge. Over here, this way. This way, fellas. One. Two. Done. Victory. What do I do? What do I do? Where's, where's the guy? Oh, it's another girl. We all have to die someday, but thanks for making sure it wasn't today. Sneaky elixir. Where is this Korok? <laughs> Where is this Korok? Three ancient shafts and I can improve bombs. Yeah, we'll head there eventually. I was supposed to be heading to the tower, but I've gotten sidetracked here. What? Uh, do you know what would be the worst thing? Is if... I'll piss off. Now's not the time. No! No! Bad moblin. Losing my mind. Where is this thing? It stops here. It starts about here. It can't be one of these trees because the, there's not one that's... Usually if it's a tree, one of them is definitely taller than the others. I would be able to see it if it was one of the... Can I triangulate on the map? Look at this area where there's just this large squiggle. I also don't have the map here. It's not, it's not here. It stopped. I'm 
it stopped again. Stopped already. It's probably off the cliff. I was using this to see if there was anything I could pick up. No, it stopped again. Is this? <laughs> you know what it might. Oh, what if it's. I don't see anything that would be a hanging acorn or something. Yeah. I was thinking that, but I'm like, what What would it hang off? How many times was I running around with this, looking for the rock to pick up? How many times... Uh, I'm gonna watch that footage later. And see if at any point I walked past it, or if it was truly just wow. Just that unlucky. What did the Korok ever do to me? Exist. And taunt me with its, uh, yeah ha 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 Kept giggling. Did you ever see Happy Gilmore, how Adam Sandler goes mini-golfing, and then that clown keeps laughing at him? Pretty much that. So yeah, that's that's two things to laugh about today. Okay, I've made it to the Akala Tower. Now I need to do this.
smooth. It's like that. The cat is one and a half and is still intent on bearing food. Cats bury food? Never seen that before. I suppose it makes sense. Oh, this is going to be a process. That one tries. Huh. Yeah, getting this tower is, uh, is quite the task. I've been avoiding it, but I guess I have to. That worked. <laughs> Ron says I have no business being here. Oh, it's still alive. No, but... Victory is ours. Neil. Nell. I almost said Neil. It's Nell. Nell. Let it go. Okay, well. Guess I'm not getting a reward for that. Is that thing really going to walk up the hill? Chat, I think that thing is going to walk up the hill. It looks like it wants to. Oh, no, it's just gone. Wow. Oh. A color citadel. Okay. Okay. Why'd you pull out your sword for? The fuck's wrong with you? Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening here? Okay. Think? Still thinks he's in danger or something, I don't know. Is that thing running from the security? I guess the... Yeah, they are. They're, they're afraid of it. There are a few Koroks up here. Is 
So yeah. Speak of the devil. See, these Koroks are kind of leading you to safety. Right, looks like this one's pointing up. You should be allowed to stand in- You should- Chat- This should not be a thing. You should be allowed to stand in here. What is this? Climb invisible wall. Oh, fuck off. God damn ah, right. <sighs> well. I forgot to take a picture. See, I wonder where this could be referring to. It has to be up. I wonder if maybe Doesn't seem to be happy that I'm hitting it. Uh oh.
We got nothing to do, it's raining. the most minuscule of damage. It's not it's not really a I'm just trying to see if I can do something dumb to this thing. Trying to get out of its flight path. No, I know I can kill it with an ancient arrow. Holy shit, this isn't to save an ancient arrow. This is just because I'm bored, waiting for the rain to finish. Even if I kill this thing, it doesn't change the fact that the rain is still there. Give me a little credit. I'm seeing if I can get it to smash into, like, the mountain or the hillside or something. There's a secondary laser now. Like, if I can alter its flight pattern so much that it glitches would be hilarious. <laughs> it's, already, it's already kind of lost control of its life. I'm just blocking its vision. <laughs> I mean, you can you can mess with this stuff. Is it really going to rain for this long? Okay. Bear with me, chat. This is going to be the most galaxy brain of moves. You ready? I can't wait for 20 minutes. Alright, I got flint. Let's use flint. I don't think it's going to work with an ice weapon. Wait, what? I think I need to do both together. Hold up. Oh, piss off. This is undercover. I made un I made cover. I'm making a shelter. How's this not an How do you rotate? You can't rotate. Uh oh. That looks covered. <laughs> nope, apparently not covered. This is horrendous.
Is there anywhere that counts as undercover nearby? I don't want to leave here because there's a Korok. That's why I'm being adamant about this. Okay, I think I need to do... I just can't believe it doesn't register things that are clearly shelter. Can I make stairs? I can, but it's not high enough. And then there's the problem of, well, you know, fuckface over here. I think it stopped. Hey, the fuck? Look this way. Fair enough. Skies do not look uh, encouraging. <laughs> All right, so this was the one I was detecting. Yeah. Do you want to eat the goo? Why? What what would it possibly remind you of that would be appetizing? <laughs> the fake out. It's so annoying, man. Twice. Jelly? Oh, no. Kind of looks radioactive to me. There's also these, like, dark, crusty parts on the edge. You know what I just realized? I just got that thing, and the blood moon's gonna rise and put it back.
Blood moons then effect from a certain rain from you. Okay, well that's nice to hear. Really confirming. <laughs> the blood moons. Don't affect a certain range from you. Hey, you know, instead of uh, focusing on eating the, the goo, you know what I've heard is extra delicious is like when you eat your own words. I've heard that's quite tasty. Very filling. The thing was literally right next to me. Oh no, I'm going to stress test this. Next time there's a blood moon, and I know one's coming, I'm going to I'm going to murder an enemy, and I'm going to stand right next to it, and I'm going to bust the smith. I'm just going to wait. It is also raining again. I'm, I don't care. I'm, wa I'm waiting it out. This is this is the punishment now. <laughs> we are going. We are going to sit here and wait it out. Okay, I'm going to save, and now I'm going to fight this thing. <laughs> Today is not my day, is it? Only me. Yep, only me.
I hate the fake out in master mode so much. Try to hold it on, and then it doesn't fake it out. There we go. That time I was like, alright, let me wait half a second. Nope, didn't fake me out. Alright. Just, I'm, I'm afraid of saying anything because I don't want to tempt fate. That one, uh, yeah, no, too thin. Can't stand on it. It's What happened there? <laughs> I was just climbing. I didn't press any button. Can you find this appetizing? It sounds like someone is... It sounds like something's going down a drain. How can you find this appetizing? Listen to that sound. Yeah, if that ledge wasn't there, I would, uh, be less than ecstatic. What the what the fuck? Where did, what? <laughs> Where did she come from? Do you want that? <laughs> there was no one there. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. God.
It's fine. I can take a couple of hits with a rock. They can be as unhappy as they want to be. Goal, goal achieved. I just wanted to get that on a different level to what I was. How's the Breath of the Wild playthrough going? Oh, you know, just glitching the game. Being lied to about the mechanics of the game by chat. Uh, what else? 123 deaths. Where's the eye the other eyeball piece? No joke, glitching it and making the game crash. Where the fuck is this? Who shot that? No one, okay. This one probably shot it. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. What do you mean? What do you mean? What? Good. Okay. Somehow without fatality. I'm okay. I think I'm okay. <laughs> I think I'm okay. I guess I can swap back to this. Wait, I got the rusty shield again. Yeah, give me that. Give me that rust. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. I need to turn on the heating. Okay, yay. <laughs> oh.
What was this? Half an hour, 20 minutes, something like that. And now I can continue further north. I guess before I get out of this tower, I need to... Let me have a look. Yeah, so there's like a... There's a whole side that I haven't checked out. Now it's easier to see where I should go. I haven't checked out these falls here, so probably there. I think I did a good job here. This is fine. I think this is pretty safe as well. Yeah, I mean, all right. Which side is it? Not that side, facing this side. Oh, that's probably why I didn't go up that side, because it's... about me, I'll be fine. <laughs> You're reading about the blood moons and found this interesting. What is what what did you read about the blood moons? That enemies respawn when they're right in front of you? I didn't get to explore it fully, so I'm going back real quick. So funny how they're afraid. Excuse me. Oh, damn it. I was gonna say, excuse me, nope. <sighs> All right. <laughs> not excused. That's all you get for being, being polite. Should not be polite. Oh, dickhead. There you go, see, I went past. This is the biggest case of deja vu. Don't worry, the music went off, but it doesn't know where I am. Oh, 
I'll be fine. So what was the thing about the blood moons that you found interesting? Well, just found it interesting that I came across an enemy that respawned directly. It's in the comment directly above. There's no comment directly above. It says, I was reading about blood moons. Found this interesting. Rip, not excused. It's in the comment above. That's the thread of chat that I see. Yeah. Yeah, see, that, that is a large paragraph. I would have seen it. There's a small window... At night, during a blood moon, where all of your cooking endeavors will result in a critical success guaranteed. Start cooking at 11.30pm. But once the cinematic plays at midnight, you will no longer receive it. Huh. That's... That's a very specific and weird thing. that have like a connotation of they're preparing a feast or something for the blood moon the feast of the blood moon that is you know it's strange Maybe it's energy in the overworld? Maybe. Yeah, ha ha! Okay, 264. And, oh, there's a, okay, hang on, there's something over here as well. There, which I would be surprised if there was nothing there. Already see it. Two sixty five. Surprise, there's nothing here. There's still stuff to look at. I have to go back up. I wonder how long it took people... I mean, it would have been a data mining thing. There's, that's the only way you would find it specifically. That is, that is very weird. Is 
Is there anything in there about rain and how to stop it? <laughs> I might have to fight this one. We'll see. Damn it. Why wouldn't it lock on? I was trying to lock on. Yeah, I'm just not gonna entertain this one. I think it was just an awkward camera angle and it just didn't let me... Yeah, fuck that. It, it was being weird, I don't know why. It wasn't letting me target it. Get a call for it though. Pretty much the reason. I knew there would be something here. Okay. Yeah. This is probably it now. I, don't, I doubt there's anything near the bridge itself. Everything else seems okay. Okay. Wait, where is here? Oh, this is up a bit higher. What? What was that? hear it. What? It doesn't let me climb up there. It's probably too awkward of an angle. I'm not sure there's any more to see, but I'm going to climb it one more time. Just be thorough. Then I don't have to come back here.
what is... Is that what I'm looking at? Straight ahead. This thing. Yeah, see, this time it's here. This time it's here. <laughs> I don't know what happened that other time. Okay, well, uh, I think I'm good. Alright, I'm heading... Heading this way now. Hi, friends. Bye, friends. I'm heading to a Kala Falls. That's a good photo, but... Images you see before death. Oh my god. Oh, there, there is a Korok here. Okay, where is it? Okay. Well, I have to sort of deal with this. Wait, where are the rocks? There's no stones. Oh, don't tell me this is going to be the same thing again. Okay, I'm looking carefully. I'm not having a repeat. Probably the other side of the river. I mean, you would think it would... It would light up. I mean, that other chest on the other side of the river is lighting up. And usually there's a whole bunch of them. It's not just one. It should be obvious. Okay, let's just assume it's on the other side of the river. Oh yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah, let me... Uh-oh. Yeah. I guess because a rock isn't considered a key item? I don't know. Treasure chest is important, so it draws the treasure chest. No! <laughs> I got it. It's fine. Even though I fell in, I got it. I'm still gonna go this way. Yep. 
how much of the map have I explored? This. Haven't really gone up here, but yeah, like, not a whole, not a, not as much as you would think. I've been doing this pretty systematically. It's not like I, I have a clue as to where these are. <laughs> it's it's just zigzag across the land and you stop at places where it seems likely there would be one. these fire case. I just wanted to do this. Okay, it's fine. The more important one wasn't thrown in. I swear. <laughs> the timing on this sometimes. I don't want to deal with that while I'm crossing. I wonder if it's on a timer. Just, yeah, make sure you're popping up a skeleton at least every two minutes. Oh, but that's for the, the river thing. I think we're good here. Alright, I'm going down the river. That thing has a triple shot. Or a double shot, at least. Oh yeah, crap, I gotta be careful. Stuff has respawned here. Yeah. Let's just go as far away to this side as possible. Okay. <laughs> I guess that wasn't going to happen. You know what? Change the plan. There's a ramp that leads down. I need to go down that ramp. I tried. That looked pretty shallow to me. I don't know. Like you could kneel in it and be fine.
I have a lot of food. I should just... Where's my standard food? There's my standard food. This one's still eager to attack me. Hmm. It would appear that this way, while safer, probably doesn't have anything here, Korok wise. This game is making me hungry. It's light, though. I've been drinking water, so it's not dehydration. Have a snack. Yeah. I think all I have are potato chips and instant noodles or ramen, whatever you want to call it. I need to go buy stuff. But it's, it's past midnight, I shouldn't. Damn. Chicken noodle soup is a great snack. It would be if I had it. That would be something semi-light. Just, you know, they're, they're always going to attack me. Okay, let me look at this now. Alright, so there's a path to the left that I haven't really explored. It's just seeing the cuts of meat and then, you know, the stuff. Like, look at that. Particularly the omelette, man. Or that. Meat and rice. I don't have eggs. If I made instant ramen with, like, an egg, that would be... That'd be good. Peanut butter on a tortilla. I've never tried something like that before. Granted, like a childhood snack was a homemade tortilla with uh, like a slice of feta cheese, which. Growing up, we lived near a, a cheese factory and it stank, but got cheap cheese.
I might just cave and have the potato chips. We'll see how I'm feeling. <laughs> Maybe I'll watch some One Piece before bed. Just making sure I cover this high ground. I need one of those lizards. And okay, the the no, the the birds, the birds. Just one. I suppose when I do Death Mountain, they'll be more common. doing whatever classifies as a, a color right now. There are a ton on the road to Death Mountain. Aha, uh -huh, and I've missed every single one so far. When I was there. I just keep running. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of, the dude that you run into. I'm planning ahead, but it's just not going well. You know one thing we don't have here too much that I've seen, I've been watching TV and they've had it a few times is chicken and waffles. We just don't have that here. I've had it once and it was pretty good. <laughs> kind of like hot dogs, it's just not many places do them. And I'm not talking about like the ones you go buy and then, you know, you just put ketchup on them and nothing else. It's more the ones where it's loaded. The fancier hot dogs. It's more common in the south, not up north. Chicken and waffles? Guess that makes sense. Common, but not unheard of, right? Like, for it to be away. The south is weird. Yeah, our south is north. Which makes sense if you think about it, if we're upside down. I mean, it's pretty decent, it's just... Ah! Got it! <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure I've had proper, proper ones, but the one I had, they were pretty good. Just some really decent fried chicken, and then it's on, like, the soft, sweet thing. Another one. Okay. Okay. Gee, Will, are you hungry? You seem to be talking about food quite a lot. I could just punish myself and see if any kebab places are open and get the HSP and then just fall asleep. Ended up getting the mini tacos. <laughs> nice. 
I mean, don't don't worry about. Do I have fruit? <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not really an adult, am I? saying, wait, the, the, the mini tacos weren't worth it? They didn't, what, they weren't good or not filling or just oh no, $16. Your son loves apples so you always have at least apples in the house. Yeah, I mean, I think for me Banana or mango would probably be the thing that I would get, but that's a summer thing. Whoops. Should probably unequip that. That is my source of heat. Problem with you know why why I don't keep fruit. This is, this is the problem. I like fruit, right? It's not that I don't like fruit. The problem is, fruit is one of those things where if you don't eat it, and it's kind of there for a while, it goes gnarly, and it goes gnarly quicker than other things. That's the problem I have with it is because. It's one of those things that I'll be like, oh yeah, I feel like a banana. Oh, but I bought a banana a week ago. Oh no, they're not, they're not that great anymore. That's the problem I have. It's just that... I... It goes bad too quickly, that's the problem. It's one of those things that I, I just have to keep track of it, and then I'm forced to be like, Oh no, I have to eat this now, and it just feels like more of a chore. Whereas if it's there and I can grab one and eat one when I feel like it, sure. Or if I go, say, to a breakfast place and they're doing, like, you know, fruit with yogurt or something and muesli. Sure. What is happening here? I'm gonna save it, but... Is this right one? What about nuts? Yeah! I like nuts. The problem is... This might be just... Bad thinking, but, um, growing up... Used to live near a market. And it was this place that did wholesale nuts. And so price was really good. Now, I don't live around there anymore. And uh, supermarket nuts, not only do you get less, way less, but they're not as good. And I guess spoiled as a kid. I would need to find a good place that that does decent ones. Why isn't this registering a Korok? This, this is a Korok, right? But this one's missing an apple.
I mean, I wouldn't say I got spoiled. H here's the thing uh, in Australia. Um, when it comes to supermarkets, there's two big there's two big ones that are nationwide, and they kind of ruin smaller stores. I did pick all of them, yeah. It, it didn't register. And so everything else is just... If they're... If they're around, you can find stores that do specific things. But generally speaking, it's... Uh, you go to one of these supermarkets and you get everything. They do, they do okay stuff, but, you know, produce and stuff, but it's just not as great. It doesn't last as long either. Yeah, I don't know. This is this is the Korok. There's nothing else here. I'm I'm loading it. I'm gonna leave it. Maybe something weird happened. It should have more apples as well. Maybe something happened. I don't know, but I'll I'll leave it. Chop it down, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I got the feeling something weird happened and maybe the apples got removed. <laughs> Of course it happens to me, right? Like... You can't make this up. I did mark it. See what I mean? That laughter, it's just, it's taunting me. What? I'm, I'm right here. I'm right here. Why can't you find me? Right here. Yeah, I don't know. If this was the normal apple thing, this one doesn't have any apples. That concerns me. But then this one only has two. Anyway, I tried everything. I tried no apples, I tried the two being brought down to one, I tried destroying the trees. I mean, what if it's a fake out and there's just other- there's something else nearby? It can't be a- it can't be a fake out. It has to be something. You know what? I think there's something wrong with these trees. I'm just going to destroy them. And then I'll come back later. And hopefully whatever used to be here will respawn. Because this doesn't seem right. I mean, this is clearly incorrect. We'll pick all the apples. There we go. Complete clean slate. Um, is there a building or a shrine or something nearby? I want to force a load screen. I mean, the nearest shrine is over there, but it's not that simple to get to. I could die. Eh, uh, no. But then death count.
Alright, I mean, there's... There's something coming up anyway. Ooh, it's the skeleton horses. Okay, hold on. Fuck. Well, I guess there's that death. <sighs> I was trying to get away from it. Well, good news, the trees are back. Let's see if this made a difference. Now none of them have apples. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Dickheads. Yeah, okay. Something's not right. Well, now it's worse. I get the feeling it's just gonna respawn eventually. I don't know. I guess just leave it. Don't worry about it. I'll just forget about it. And then come back later. Fruits respawn in a couple days time in game. Okay, so you're saying if I do a campfire here, in the middle of nowhere, would that work? I got nothing to lose in trying. Well, there's been a blood moon already, and that's that's the thing. And I came here after the blood moon, and they weren't there. So something's happened. Okay. Uh, where is flint? I accidentally got two pieces of flint. Okay. I broke the game? Yeah, of course I did. Okay, no apples yet. <laughs> Hold on. This is just what this is just what happens to me when I play games. Like at some point something is gonna break or not behave as intended. I don't wanna miss. Like I'm sure this takes into account. Well, that's a couple of days. And nothing.
We'll do one more, but I got the feeling this isn't working. Let me do till noon. Well, I'll just come back later. It's the only option I have, I guess. <laughs> doubt you doubt it would work since you could camp by forest, but that's what it said. I mean, maybe confirmation bias. I don't know. Like it might have worked, but it's not the. It's not the reason it worked. I don't know. What did I even do to cause that? <laughs> I think I know what happened. There was a point where I was near those trees and some fire bats were chasing me. And I used a bomb. Well, I used a bomb to kill the fire bats, but I get the feeling the fire bats may have roasted the apples. I get the feeling that may have happened. If I was to guess, what stupid thing could have caused it? That would be my guess. I'm not going down there because I don't have a scale. But I'll do the perimeter. Just, this is a process, this one. I'm not going to worry about it. I think what I'll do today, before I stop playing, is close the game. And then, you know, tomorrow we'll just reopen it. I love how the danger of this is just negligible. You don't even have to endanger your life to go here. There's a Lionel here somewhere. Okay. Yeah. That uh, that sound. That's exactly what it is. What is it? It's a white main one, okay. It's not too bad. Not today. Not today.
Oh shit, there's one here too. Well... Seems like a Lionel is blocking the path either way. Oh, I think I know which one this is. It's this. This one's problematic. Okay, I have to save because I don't want to lose too many weapons. <sighs> These ones are the worst because you have no choice. You have to sacrifice a weapon. Alright, I guess we get rid of this one. Oh shit. I didn't use stasis. Let's just, uh, let's load that again. This is why we save. Okay. Get, get the fuck out. <laughs> that almost went in. Well, I mean, it's technically a hole in one because I just have to push it in now. I don't have to hit it. That's the closest I've gotten to getting a hole in one. What? Dude! I can't believe that didn't go in. I feel ripped off. I can't believe that didn't go in. <laughs> yeah, -ha -ha. you didn't get a hole in one. Ball did not want to go home. 270. I can't believe that didn't go in. You could sneeze on that rock and it would go in. Once I get up to the Goron area, then the weapons there can just smash rocks and I won't have to blow stuff up. Almost got me. I just want to make sure that what I was hearing here wasn't the second Korok. It was no, it was. It was the second one. So there's one here somewhere.
cow. Ah, there it is. I'm almost a third of the way with the Koroks. Just say that's like a third of the map. Kind, yeah, kind of. Too loud. Uh, hold on. Okay, it doesn't look like any of those. Ah! That's just. Okay, I have 24 of these. I should be able to just take this thing out. Assuming I need to. Okay. I thought there might be a Korok here, but it doesn't look like it. Look at how creepy they are when they dig back underground. <laughs> are they gone or are they still there? Yeah, they're gone. did I miss? Counting on that not to have anything. <laughs> Hang on, what have we got here? Okay, I'm going to the edge there. I think it's just a camp. Oh, hold on, what's this? Thanks for the interruption. I think I can just push this off. Hang on. Wait, what's that sound? I heard mystical sounds.
I heard the sounds of the dragon. Where is it? The fuck? I heard the dragon music. Why is there no dragon? Okay. Don't climb. Do I really do I really have to? Ugh. Okay, hang on. No. Crap. Okay, drop it. Stasis. Bomb. Good. Okay, I guess from here... It'll, it'll, get, it'll get me there, I think. Yeah, this is fine. Zonakai! It's the skull's eye, I guess. Okay, what is it? Wait, already worthy? I didn't do anything, but okay, sure. I've already proven my worth, because I think you're supposed to climb it. Uh, that's an interesting... I mean, I've used this one quite a bit already, so let's just... It's not gonna last much longer, the other one. am I up to now? I'm kind of curious to see. Okay. Yeah, I mean... We're up a third of the way with shrines, a third of the way with Koroks, roughly, so... It's about right. I mean, yeah, maybe not a third, but close to a third. Okay, chat. I'm gonna leave it here for tonight as it is late-ish. It's, it's one here, yeah, but I have work tomorrow, so I need to get some sleep. But I want to thank you for uh, tuning in. It was fun as always. 
So yeah, I'll return tomorrow and we'll keep going with this. But in the meantime, if you do want to catch up on anything you might have missed, uh, all that is on YouTube currently. So check it out. And yeah, for people watching on YouTube later, thanks for us sticking around to the end. Hope you're enjoying and consider doing any of that fun algorithm stuff if you want to support the content I do. And if you want to find me elsewhere on the internet, just go to shambles.gg. That's it. Have fun at work. I will try. I always do. <laughs> but yeah, take care everyone. Thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow and continue this.